Hey everyone, I've had quite a few people ask me how best to learn Blender. So this video covers how to learn Blender as efficiently as possible. First of all, I see a lot of people learn Blender just to learn Blender. This is not a good enough reason. It will not carry you through the hard times of retopology and UV unwrapping. You need an ultimate purpose to learn Blender. Maybe you want to make your own 3D print statues. Maybe you want to create game assets and work in the video game industry. Maybe VFX. The list of possibilities goes on, but you must absolutely have a target with your learning. And this doesn't mean you can't change the target. I started myself with game assets, but I currently work on adverts for VFX and esports. It's not a huge leap, but the change is possible. And that brings us on to the second topic. Have a project and a goal. This should be a culmination of your reason. Say you want to work in the games industry, that's your goal. So the project will be an art station portfolio of five outstanding game asset models produced to industry standards. This way, you'll move past any of the usual floundering and time wasting on figuring out what kind of projects to execute on, and every single second you spend will be working towards your success. Documentation and selective tutorial use. Now, Onto efficiency boosters. Tutorials are not always the best way to go, with a few exceptions. Not me, uh, I'm definitely not exceptional at making this case, my tutorials are very long winded, but definitely people like Ian Hubert are very quick and to the point. But tutorial producers generally waste a decent amount of time, I certainly can say I do. However, documentation rarely has this issue. And when you know exactly what you want to do, because you have your project and your goal, you can just read a small section of documentation and be ready to use the techniques. And Blender has an expansive, useful documentation of every feature, and most add-ons like HardOps and BoxCutter similarly share this large amount of documentation. Find a mentor. Now that might not sound easy, and I suppose it isn't. Many charge hundreds for mentoring sessions, but that isn't the only way to get them. In Blender and 3D communities everywhere, there are hundreds of helpful people who want to help foster the next generation of 3D artists for free. Now, there's some code of etiquette to it, of course. Don't just go around demanding that people mentor you or give you feedback, but strike up a communication with artists that impress you, inquire about their work, and it's likely they might feel inclined to give you some feedback as well. And, you know, be polite and nice to them. But that option is certainly available. And when it's time, and you've mastered Blender, you can come back and do the same and lend a little of your time to make people's learning journeys easier. Courses. Courses are hit and miss. While generally better than regular tutorials, there are many highly priced tutorials that teach incorrect techniques, etc. So when it comes to picking the right course, I suggest you confer with any fellow artists or mentors you may know to see if it's a worthwhile investment. Well, with all that covered, I hope at least one of these tips is useful. I just wanted to go over a baseline of how a lot of time can be saved while learning Blender. So, if that was useful, and you did find it helpful, please do leave a like, comment so more people can see this, or maybe send it to another friend starting out learning. With all that done, Thank you very much for watching. See ya.